Hey, when you have an accident on a motorcycle, and if you can, I know you're gonna be excited, your adrenalism is going to be roaring, it's gonna be taking over your common sense. But I had a call from some people that were very frantic and they're like, Gabe, we just had an accident. This guy was in the middle of the road. We went to go around and they hit us. And there's like all these, these folks just staring at us. And I said, get their names and numbers. Even if you have to videotape them, what's your name, what's your number? Do it. Because sometimes when the cops come, they will write a report that could be against you because you're a biker or because you have a different lifestyle in the biker community than what the regular cagers are. And sometimes folks will gang up on you, unrightfully so, because of your difference, because they look at you like some dirty, you know, scoot, whatever dirty biker I mean it's happened to me many of times but if you start getting what's your name what's your name because the officers aren't going to do a big report a big investigation like they do on TV you know this is dun, dun, dun. What's the name of that show in New York the cop show that's been on for a hundred years I forget anyways they don't do the investigations that thoroughly because normally they got another accident they got to go run to so basically it's up to you and if before they put you in the ambulance, if you're on there and people, how are you doing? What's your name? Can I get your name? Get their number. Because afterwards, somebody has to pay for those uh, injuries, hospital bills, medication, those x-rays, the blood that they drew, the MRI that they did for you. And it adds up. I mean, normally a ride to the hospital for an emergency room can be as low as, as $5,000 all the way to $50,000. And you'll, you're responsible. But I wasn't at fault. You're responsible for that. So make sure you get the witnesses. Now remember, on a previous video, I told you that police reports are inadmissible in court. It's hearsay. So don't worry what the cop wrote in the report. You do your job. Do your due diligence while you're there. Or if a writing partner is with you and you're hurting, get their names. Get their names. Then focus in on your injuries. That is if you can't. Um, I don't want you dying to look for people's name and numbers, but every situation is different. Treat your situation that way. If you can remember the next time either a writing partner of yours goes down or you go down, right away first, see, uh, see to the injuries, okay? Once everything is, is, is okay and there isn't an immediate uh, fear of death or anything to that nature, Run around. What did you see? What did you see it? Did you, let me get your name and number. Let me get your name and number because it may not show up in the police report and your attorney's going to need that. So think about it. You want to get stuck with those medical bills? Get those names and numbers. If you need an attorney, what do you call these? Just, Just call, call Gabe. Gabe. There you go. Just call Gabe.com or attorneythatrise.com.